Hey everybody, I'm Danny Griffin, mindset expert and real estate agent coach with another Monday Motivation brought to you by freethinkingtools.com. So what do I have for you this week? Well, it sort of looks like the wheel of fortune, right? The big dollar in the middle and some of the biggest names in business history in the United States, Rockefeller, JP Morgan, Carnegie, all of those guys and many others were the subject of Napoleon Hill's great book, Law of Success. If you don't know the history, Carnegie was interviewed by Napoleon Hill, the reporter, and then challenged to study how did all of these people become successful. And it's a fascinating seminal work on success theory. But you know, this week I was really challenged in a different way by these names. The History Channel is running this incredible series about the men who built America, per se, right? It was during their time when things happened. There's many others since them and before them, sure. But this was a unique breed of cat back then. And you really look at this crazy little relationship that especially these three had, where you have J.P. Morgan at one point in time buying out Andrew Carnegie for $480 million to buy a steel company to create U.S. Steel. That's $13 billion in today's uh, monetary terms. Then you had Rockefeller during and previous to that buying all the iron ore out of northern Minnesota to make a power play on steel and force Carnegie to buy him out before he got into that business. Crazy, fascinating stuff. And what's interesting about it is at times they work together, at times against each other. But I'm more fascinated by the mindset. And the one guy, man, that I just couldn't get my mind off of was J.P. Morgan. Now, here was the money guy. This was the guy that was the, um, the titan of Wall Street at the time. And sure, you could make an argument that these were the robber barons too, that these guys weren't always above board. However, it was the way he thought. And during this History TV, uh, History Channel's t TV show, they would have other modern day uh, titans of business come on and make a commentary. And Donnie Deutsch, the advertising mogul out of New, New York, said it the best. He never met anybody like this that didn't ask themselves, why not me? And I just can't let that one go. And I want to challenge you with this Monday motivation for you to ask yourself, when you have a big idea, and we all have them, they come into your head all the time, why not you? Are you making excuses that you don't have the resources? Well, J.P. Morgan gets a number from Carnegie's guy, Charles Schwab, of $480 million. You know what? He didn't even question it. He didn't even ask for one second where he was going to get the resources. He said yes. And that was it. That's all it took. So right here to the biggest steel company in history, let alone the fact that prior to that, he bought out enough shares to diminutize Edison's position and founded General Electric, right? J.P. Morgan, the founder of General Electric and U.S. Steel. Are you kidding me? How does that happen? You know why? He asked himself the question, why not me? And he set about going to get it. So there's your challenge for this Monday motivation. Get out there. Why not you? There's no such thing as limited resources. Let your mind think big and the rest will happen. I'll see you next week. I'm Danny Griffin, founder of The Realty Classroom. With this week's Monday motivation, please do me a favor. Pass these along to some friends and family who need to think big and also leave your comments here and I'll reply to all of them personally. Thanks for tuning in.